Hey me la you got dinner? Welcome back to the channel once again. What am I doing up here you might ask? Well that there behind me is an access point that we host for the local internet here and um, for our local network. Now what are we at today? Well we're doing an experiment and that experiment is to see does your Wi-Fi router in your home affect plant life or any biological organisms nearby. We're either going to find out if it does or if it doesn't. So let's get into it. Okay, so for the first step in this experiment, is starting our seeds off in cell trays. Now we're going to have two separate groups with eight cells in each group. One group will be in beside the Wi-Fi and the other group will be in a separate room but under identical lighting and identical environmental conditions. Neither group will have exposure to natural daylight and will be completely reliant on the LED lighting. The soil that we're using for the experiment is a potting compost perlite mix. It's just some stuff I keep around handy for houseplants. I did make a trip down to the agri to try and get some fresh soil just for the occasion, but they're closed for lunch, so this will have to do. The seed that we're using for this is from Dutch company Dury, and it is Autumn Calabrese variety broccoli. Now, as you can see, the packet's already open. I have used this seed already successfully this year down in the kitchen garden. It's a fast grower, and it had about a 90% successful germination rate, so we'll have to allow about a 10% margin of error in this experiment. Just to eliminate any bad germination, we're going to put two seeds into each cell, so that should prevent any contamination of the results. So let's get started. I don't have any chunks in there. The final part of this then is we're going to use two old paint tub lids to allow for bottom watering. I always prefer to do bottom watering whenever possible. Okay, so we've just placed each group in underneath the grow lights and I've had to step outside here because the LED flicker is interfering with the camera quite a bit. So I'll just give a brief description here while we're outside before we walk in and hopefully it won't interfere with the camera too much and I apologise if it does. Um, basically the lights that we're using um, are 1000 watt Grow Cruiser LEDs. Each light is identical. They're both 49 centimetres exactly away from the top of each cell tray and I have each light set at 20,000 lumens measured at the top of the cell trays. Now to give you an idea what 20,000 20, lumens looks like, um, outside today it is a cloudy day, it's, it's sunny spells but mostly cloudy. The luminometer was reading 26,000 lumens. So what they're getting at the moment is the equivalent to a cloudy-ish summer's day. So let's take a step inside and we can talk about the Wi-Fi router that they are in beside. So, oh, I'm sorry about the mess. Okay, so here we go. Okay, it's not so bad there. All right, what you see, we've got our first group there. Now it is currently 26 degrees Celsius in here. Um, you probably can't see with our little thermometer there. And this is the Wi-Fi router over here. Um, it is a TP-Link 300 megabytes per second router. So it is quite a powerful one. And um, as you can see, they are right beside it right there. Okay, so let's go on down to our other group, which is the control group. I think I have a little helper following me here. Say hello. <laughs> go on, I'll put you now. I know. I was fine on you since the other world. Yeah, sweethearts, thank you. Now go and do some food, girl. Okay, so we are in our control group room here now. And again, I apologize about the LED flicker. Try and keep it as far away as possible and I'm sorry that you can't see me, I'm all blacked out. Our control group here, as you can see, we're in an identical sized room, although this is used as a bedroom currently. However, the distance is the same and the luminosity value that the soil is receiving is the exact same as the other room. Temperature conditions, everything is the exact same. The only difference here being 
no Wi-Fi router. So now, in a week's time, we're going to come back and check on him again. If you want to see how this experiment turns out, then please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can keep up with our content as we publish it and follow us along to see the results. Thanks once again for watching, and y'all take care out there.